Well, it's all kicking off in central London as the pro-Palestine crowd have come out. Well, they claim to be pro-Palestine, but a lot of them in the crowd are still celebrating what Hamas did a couple of weeks ago. And a lot of the others are still targeting random Jewish civilians just because they're Jewish. They're still targeting them in Jewish areas in London. Um, but we're not even talking about this whole debate about the conflict. We're talking about professionalism or lack of professionalism. Transport for London. TfL. Uh, who's in charge? Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. TfL is in charge of the transport in London and they're supposed to be non-political, obviously. It's supposed to be just about transport. Uh, in fact, they have banned political adverts, political messaging uh, inside the L London underground and train stations. But, there's a big but. Some of them are rogue, including this uh, tube driver. I'm going to show you uh, this clip from, it's from half an hour ago, an hour ago in central London, I think it's a central line, um, the, the tube driver himself starts leading the pro-Palestinian chants, which again turns into anti-Jewish and anti-Israel. Watch this. Have a good day. According to the troop driver, he wanted to join the protests, but uh, he had to work. Oh no, what a tough job he has. Uh, and forget about again, whether you like uh, the Israeli government or dislike them. This is actually about what's going on in London. This is about the fact that multiculturalism is messing up our culture. And the same some people, the anti-establishment people who are supposed to be uh, pro well, nationalism and our country, they claim to be right wing. And now they're suddenly on the side of Hamas. Because, oh, suddenly we care about the civilians in Palestine, even though they didn't care about them three weeks ago. Um, all that aside, these are the same people who complain about multiculturalism. Suddenly they're fine with this. Hmm, weird. So, let's talk about this. Carl Benjamin uh, from Lotus Eaters said, Imagine being an English passenger on this train. How would you feel? Probably perplexed that, that the government decided to import desert problems from a thousand miles away and now... You have to be subjected to them. Let's hope that nobody uh, from the region does anything nuts. That's a very, very good point uh, from Carl Benjamin. Uh, we then also had this uh, Dr. Philip uh, Kisley saying uh, this kind of mindless intimidation shouldn't be allowed. You're employed to drive a tube train, not inside violence against Israelis or Jewish people in general. Who is it? Will he be sacked? That's also the next challenge. Uh, Christina Jordan uh, uh, from uh, the, well, she was Brexit Party, I don't know if she's now Reform or not. She could be Reform UK, I don't know. Uh, this is unacceptable, TfL. Jewish people will rightly wonder if they are safe on the tubes. And uh, why does your pig ignorant driver think it's okay to make a political anti-Israel chant on the tannoy, uh, tell him to just drive the damn train? We're not interested in his uh, divisive views. Uh, we also had a very straightforward comment from uh, this Ryan guy saying, Multiculturalism is killing our country. That is the message of this video. Doesn't really matter if you're going to have a technical debate about territories in the Middle East. We are talking about the problems in this country right now. And innocent people, Jewish or Christian or atheists, are now being targeted by a bunch of nutters that some of you have been supporting just because you don't like Israel. This is what you've done to the country, those who've been supporting this movement. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi. And we are the media.